My name is Elizabeth Wood. Originally, I was from Bradford, and I've ended up in Windermere. I'm just a painter. Paint anything and everything, but people mainly. I don't class myself as a portrait painter, particularly in the um, way most people think of portrait painters. I just like people. I love people and I want to paint them. I think it's very important just to keep your passion going in spite of making a living. You can't always make a living by painting. You usually have to do something else. I was a teacher and uh, a curator, so I met many artists and I taught at an art college. And I've been a painter throughout, in spite of everything. But you just keep going. And that's what I'd say to anybody young, keep going, keep painting. Uh, when I first thought of myself as an artist, it was probably when I was a little girl. And um, I was sent to a school where you chose what you wanted to do and I wanted to paint all day and every day, which I did. Other children perhaps wanted to learn to read. I didn't. And I certainly didn't want to know about numbers or sums. I just wanted to paint. And when the sort of elderly aunt came and said, oh, you're quite a little artist, aren't you? I would say, yes, that's me. And forever afterwards, I just thought to myself, that's what I was. I'd been to art college and started teaching. And then I met a lady on a bus and she'd been a curator of a small gallery in Lancashire. And she told me how she would borrow pictures from other galleries. And it sounded such an interesting thing to do. And I was quite um, taken by the idea, but I had no idea how you became a curator. So when the opportunity happened, more by chance than anything, I thought, yes, this is me, and I'd like to do this. I ran this gallery for about 30 years. So in that time, my husband and I, we put on between us probably about 300 different exhibitions in that time. When we moved to Windermere, there was a um, van load of my paintings and my husband's paintings. So we decided to build this shed. So we put some of them in the shed and the shed eventually started to leak. So it was quite recently that we had a really good look in the shed. <laughs> it was an odd feeling taking them out of the shed because I hadn't seen them perhaps for 15 years or more. Some had faded and some had just rotted and some were fine, but we spread them around the garden and I must say I was quite surprised to find I liked some of them. And those that were beyond recall, uh, my gardener took them away and put them on the bonfire. I'm looking forward to the exhibition at the Weaver's Gallery. I think the value of exhibiting your work to the artist is to see your work in completely different contexts and seeing it in a different place makes you reassess things and probably, I hope, will encourage me to get down to doing some more work.